I'm going to give you one verse from the King James Bible that best describes Trinitarians. This describes them perfectly. The verse is found in Psalm 62 and verse 4. Let me read it to you. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. Uh, that is exactly what Trinitarians are. They only consult to, con to cast him down from his excellency. Trinitarians, every single one I've ever met that really understands things, there are Trinitarian people that use Trinity terminology and whatever else. They do it in ignorance. I used to do it. Many preachers have done it. But when you actually study the issue and you realize how wicked this Trinity teaching is, you drop it as a Christian. But Trinitarians that persist in it, they'll get to a point where they will say, Jesus Christ is the second member of the Trinity. Well, second is the first loser. Okay? I used to have a saying like that back when I was a teenager with dirt bike riding and things like that. If you get second place, you're the first loser. All right? Second place is not the head. Is not the best. It's not the highest position. You are in second place. If Jesus is the second member of the Trinity, he's not at the top. Even though the Bible calls him Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Okay? He has the preeminence. He's at the very top. All right? Again, it's a problem. And they'll come out with all kinds of other terminology and everything else. They, can, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. Interesting because Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5 says, Add thou not unto his word, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. And yet every Trinity believer, every Trinitarian, has to add at least, I think it's six or seven different words or phrases to the King James Bible to make their system work. They say God in three persons. No such scripture. There's no scripture saying that God is three persons, plural. And if you do a word study, study on the word persons, it's always a reference to man, and it's usually a negative connotation. God doesn't want to be called persons, plural. Person is there in reference to God, but never persons in the plural. Very interesting. They, but the Trinitarians have to be very dishonest about that. Trinity is not in the Bible. And they'll say, yes, it's just a description. It's innocent. No, it's a title. Okay, that's why it's so serious. That's why it's so dangerous. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. That's a title. It's not a description. Um, divine essence, unity in the sense of the, the Father and the Son. There's unity. They're not the same being. They're just unified kind of, you know, as a husband and wife, you know, or whatever else. Perversion there too. They delight in lies. They add to his word and that's what they delight in. They bless with their mouth. I love the Lord. I believe in the blessed Trinity. I, I, you know, blah, blah, blah. They, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. You watch it. All these Trinity people do the same thing. When you really get hardcore as a Trinitarian, they're living in all kinds of wickedness that they keep covered up. They're whited sepulchers, like the Lord, you know, said to the Pharisees. Uh, inwardly, they're full of dead men's bones. They appear outward to be beautiful, Oh, they're really good Christians and whatever else, but they are just rotten and filthy inside. They curse inwardly. They hate Jesus Christ, and that's why they put him into this Trinity teaching. It's just disgusting. They lie about Scripture. They have to add to Scripture, making themselves liars. They bring Jesus down, and pretty soon they start saying, well, um, actually, I think maybe Jesus was created. I exposed this wicked heretic, Martin Richling, years ago because he came out five years ago, actually, um, almost to the month here. And uh, he came out five years ago and he was saying, prayer is a work. The Romans road will lead you to, to damnation, not to salvation. Um, all this other stuff. Refuted all that. And then he came out and he said, Jesus is a created being. It was God the Father and the Holy Ghost in eternity past and they created Jesus Christ. Total, complete blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. But that's what you get. Psalm 62 verse 4 perfectly describes Trinitarians. Um, you need to study this issue. Okay? It's very, very important that you do. Because if you are a Trinitarian, you have a false pagan idol that you are worshiping. All right? Just disgusting.